In the same way as Naruto, Gara hosted within his body a one-tailed spirit known as Shukaku. The only bonds that Gara shared with others were shackles of hatred and murderous rage. And in his eyes, combat was only to be undertaken with the intent to kill or be killed. As Naruto fought for the sake of his friend, Gara fought for himself only. Thus began a confrontation between two shinobi who had endured similar challenges, yet reached opposite conclusions. I'm gonna crush you! And all your little friends, too! My friends are everything. I'll protect them to the end. Take that! 
It's almost unbearable, isn't it? The feeling of being alone? But I have people in my life now, who are important to me. I care more about them than I do myself, and I won't let anyone hurt them. To his final ounce of strength, Naruto caught Gara flush on the cheek with a full force blow. But it was not hatred that was behind the attack. It was the sympathy that only one who had shared similar experiences could express. I know that feeling. I've been there, in that dark and lonely place. this for anyone but yourself because they saved me from myself from my loneliness they were the first to accept me for who I am they're my friends friends So that's where his strength comes from. Knowing well the suffering of solitude, Naruto was able to empathize with Gara's feelings to a painful degree. And yet, Naruto now had important people in his life who accepted him, so he could not overlook Gara's aggression. Witnessing the power of love firsthand, Gara cast aside his bloodlust and departed with the aid of the other sand ninja. He left hoping that he too could emulate Naruto one day.